Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Oscar Rush Server here, joined by Thomas as always. And we got the HCA Mid Season Awards uh, nominations. This should be fun. It'll be your first awards reaction since the Oscars. Listen, do these mean anything? Like, probably not. Um, right. Like, they don't. They don't indicate anything really. They just kind of show, you know, a little bit of a general vibe of where critics' minds are at right now, um, and, and you know what 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 they're looking at. I mean, we saw everything ever all at once dominate last year. Um, Coda did quite well here the year before. So, like, you know. So, maybe, yeah. I don't think Elvis did all right here last year, which was sort of Elvis a sign did that. pretty well. Yeah, even though the critical reviews weren't great for it, there was still the sort of. So, you know, of... it's not important in any way, but maybe there are some things that we it's, can It's a bit of just a just benchmark. Uh, yeah. yeah it's just it... a fun first reaction of the series. Like. So, all right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Most anticipated film Barbie. Okay. Yes. I mean, that's. Yeah, sure. Why not? Dune Part Two. Yep, yep, yep. Killers of the Flower Moon. Keep them coming. Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning Part One. That's interesting. Okay. I mean, yeah. I guess it's it's one of the sort of probably the first ones that it's, that it's going to be releasing. So yeah, you know, I guess there's just that short term anticipation. And then Oppenheimer. So. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so pretty expected across the board. Off yeah, you Barbie. maybe would have expected yeah. something like Color Purple or something over Mission Impossible, or maybe. But potentially, potentially, but yeah, not too surprising. Not too surprising. Yeah. No, I'll make sense. Remember, don't worry, Darling was nominated last year. Um this <laughs> well, is also yeah. this is also I think Killers of Flower Moon's second year of being nominated. I think it was nominated last year too. Oh yeah, I guess it might have thought been. it was coming yeah. out last year. Yeah, and that's interesting. That is very interesting. But yeah, all right, best indie film. Now we got the actual stuff for okay. this year. All right, a thousand and one. Okay. okay. Good choice, good choice. I didn't love it, but uh, that makes sense. Uh Blackberry. Okay. Okay, just saw that. That's a that's a decent choice. I thought it was a decent. It's all right. It's all right. Past lives. I think Thomas. Okay, I yeah, think we're gonna see a lot of this. I think we're gonna yeah, see a lot of this. Yeah, I think we're seeing a lot of past lives. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, Rylane. Great choice. Let's go. Lovely. Hopefully that shows up more. Yes, hopefully, hopefully. And you hurt my feelings. I actually just watched that um last night. It's decent. Okay. It's decent. Okay. I'm fine yeah. with it. I'm fine with it. Nice choice. Um, I don't think they're missing anything like really weird, unless you count Bo's afraid. No. Yeah. Would that be? I don't know. Indie? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know the rules of eligibility, but, but if it is, that yeah. would be yeah. That is a it's a, it's a miss. Both also, no right. showing up. Kelly Reichardt. No. Oh wait, where's um how to blow up a pipeline? I thought that that would maybe show up because that got maybe. I mean, these are all fairly standard. Yeah, it makes sense. Fairly yeah. standard choices. So yeah, not too surprised. All right, horror. Evil okay. Dead Rise. Okay. Yes, that makes sense. That had a lot of buzz. Earlier. Um, Infinity Pool. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, Good yeah. Choice. That makes sense. Good choice. All right, we got Knock at the Cabin. Okay. I yeah, forgot that film came it, out this year. But it yeah, makes sure. sense. It makes sense. Yeah, it does. Um, Megan. Megan. Okay, that was the question. Would Megan get in? Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. And then Scream Six. Scream Six. Okay, so no Skinnerin. No Skinnerin. No, I don't know what else you would really put here though. No, no, it feels like they have just gone for like the five biggest horror. The films five most watched released so yeah. far. Yeah, but okay, interesting. All right, screenplay. Screenplay. Air. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes that sense. <laughs> I was hoping that maybe Air would be like, oh, that's weird. Air which just wasn't showing up. But no, yeah. Okay, no, like. no. Yeah. Um, past lives. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Ooh, nice. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Oh, that's a great choice. That's a I great like choice, that choice. Actually. I like yeah. that choice. I really like that choice. Uh, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. Okay. It's getting in screenplay. You're getting getting in screenplay. screenplay. Same. And Astrid City. Astrid City. Okay, that is it. Yeah, that does make sense as well. Good choice. The screenplay. The screenplay pick. Is there anything yeah. missing there, really? No, I mean, again, unless you said, like, Rye Lane. Um... Yeah, I mean, these are, like, yeah. These are less likely to get no. No, I think that I think that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Overall, I don't I don't know. I mean, because I'm expecting stuff like John Wick or something to show up, but, like, oh, not yeah. in screenplay. No, not. Um, oh, I guess you could have maybe seen Blackberry get a screenplay nom if it was, like, really big. Yeah, I mean, they get that indie nom, but, yeah, I mean, you've got air there. So, I yeah. guess that's the right. that's product movie. Really yeah. All right, stunts. Stunts. John Wick 4, presumably. Will yeah, be yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor of the... Yeah, okay. Sure, I guess. Why not? Why not? Extraction 2. I've heard that this is actually, like, decent. I refuse to, I refuse to believe that. It's... I, I've heard, like, the stunts are, like, actually good. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I mean, the stunts There's are lots good. of, like, really big set pieces. Like, better than yeah. most Netflix stuff. Fast X, let's go! Okay, I mean, that makes sense for stunts. It makes sense for stunts. Um, John Wick Chapter 4, obviously. Obviously. 
Oh, polite society. That's a fun nom. Okay, yeah. Actually, that I does like make that. sense for stunts as well. That does yeah. make sense for stunts. Yeah, it's a film about particular. stunts, but yeah. Yeah. No, well, I like that it a lot. That's a nice choice. That's a nice choice. All right, in the big stuff, director. Director, here we go. Ben Affleck for Air. Okay, right. Yeah. I, I didn't expect that to be director, to be honest. Yeah. It does suggest at least some sport. But yeah. Air. All right, Little Spleen filmic. Song. Spleen Song, Past Lives. Yeah. Okay, obviously. cool. Makes sense, obviously. Chad Stahelski for John Wick. Yes, that probably makes sense as well. Yeah. Uh, Joaquin Dos Santos, Kemp Powers, and Justin K. Thompson for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kelly Furman Craig for Are You There, God, This Me, Margaret. Oh, that's Let's great go. choice. There is, there is an appreciation for that film. That I love seeing her. Yeah, I love seeing her yeah, get yeah. some love. No, that's great. That's great. Um... Yeah, not really. I, I maybe a bit surprised no Wes Anderson. Yeah, Wes Anderson could have gone there. I mean, Bo's afraid, really. Brophy performance. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. That was a very heavily directed film. So for that not to be even in consideration with director. Yeah, I don't know. But all right. Supporting actress. Here we go. Kathy okay. Bates. For either guys to me, Margaret. I honestly okay, I like this film yeah. a lot. I didn't love her performance in it. I but... didn't think, yeah, the performances were really the standouts of the, of the film uh, the performances weren't necessarily the reason why yeah the film but like i know I, I like rachel mcadams and i assume that she's here um yeah oh, I assume so. let's go patty lupon for Bo's afraid great choice okay fantastic choice she had a lot of presence in the film she really yeah. did yeah she was not in the film for very long but she really had that sort of that's a really presence. inspired choice i think that makes sense that makes sense love that love that all right there's rachel mcadams yeah that would make sense i i think good i thought that she was good in the film I think she is good, yeah. Um, ScarJo, Asteroid City, good choice. Okay, yeah. If anyone, so they're doing it for acting. Yeah, yeah. And and then, if anyone from that ensemble, it would be, it would be ScarJo. Yeah, and then Viola Davis. Fair, yes, Rare. yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Obviously, sure. Um, yeah. Can't think of anything else that is missing that is weird, unless they wanted to can get go like really hard on like Creed Three or something with like Tessa, but yeah, I don't sense. know. I don't know. That would make sense. This this lineup seems seems to track with yeah. what they've been doing. All right, supporting actor Ben Affleck, air. Yeah, that yep. makes sense. That makes sense. Will we see Matt Damon in lead? Is the question. Well, we're seeing Chris Messina for air. Oh, okay, right. Will we see Jason Bateman for air? Is another question. <laughs> The entire category is just air. Yeah. Okay, Glenn Howard's in Blackberry. I like that choice. Okay, that is a nice choice. Just, yeah. Oh my God, Jason Momoa for Fast oh. X. I I thought yes. you were gonna say Jason but Bateman there. You really okay? But Jason Momoa for Fast X. Yes. Okay. Good I mean, choice. I'm not not anti it. Not that's anti it. that's Vin what Diesel, these are for. Vin Diesel will be hu- fuming with. That oh one. my God! Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna hate that. This is good. This is good. This is good. Yeah. Uh, and then we have John Magaro for Past Lives. Okay. What a okay. okay. What a Having weird life. Both Fast X right next to John. Yeah. Plus plus the two air people. Yeah. A- and Blackberry. And Blackberry there. Yeah. Weird lineup. Weird lineup. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Best actress. Abby Ryder Fortson for you there, guys, and me, Margaret. That's fun. Oh, okay. Interesting. They really like it. They really do like it, yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, Greta Lee, Past Lives. Good. Yes. Yeah, of course. Fantastic. Amazing. Um, Julie Louise Dreyfus, you hurt my feelings. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Interesting. She's good. She's good. Mia Goth, Infinity Pool. Good choice. Oh, good choice. okay. Yeah. She's, so she's having, she's having, a, having a moment, Mia Goth. And has been oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's Obviously, great. Yeah. Yeah. And then Tiana Taylor in a thousand and one. Good. Wait. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, where's Halle Bailey? Oh, I, cool. the Little Mermaid. Um, I that's guess a, they just didn't like the film. I, I guess, that's but all. like that's a bit weird. I guess I was, it's a bit strange. It I was does expecting just, her to. Yeah, I mean, what they've gone for, they they've gone for seemingly some more independent stuff necessarily. They ha- they just seem to have ignored Little Mermaid so far. Yeah. I mean, I'm not too surprised, realistically. I, I, yeah, I just, I, it's weird that, like, we got, like, Infinity Pool and 1001 getting in over it. Like, I know, I, and you hurt my feelings. Like, yeah, yeah. they went very indie with it. Yeah, which is good, which, though. No, I'm, I'm fine with it. I was just, I'm, I'm yeah. kind of surprised. But, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, best actor. Okay. There he is, Walking Phoenix, Bo's Afraid. Good. Okay, yes. If any, if that film was going to get any noms, you'd be hoping at least a little bit. Yeah. Away. All right, Matt Damon for air. Yeah, there you go. Four yeah, cool. acting all nominations for Air. All got in. They've all got in. And director, That's a director right? and screenplay. Yep. And pictures. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Cool. Michael B. Jordan, Creed Three. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yep. Good. good. That's probably its only nom, but yes, you'd presume so. Taron Edgerton for Tetris. Oh God. Okay. Right. Okay. Um. 
It's a who remembers that film exists? <laughs> Clearly, the HGA apparently. Weird like, choice. I would have thought like Chris Pratt for Guardians or like like uh, Keanu Reeves for Don Wick would have happened over that. Over the uh, yeah yeah they've really they're not going as mainstream as also J- they tend to. UTO is last for past life, so no Jason Schwartzman. Good pick with UTO. He's great. Okay. But no Schwartzman. No Schwartzman. That's a shame. He is definitely the standout of that cast. Yeah. I guess the leading categories are a bit more stacked. They've gone for Taron Edgerton, though, over Jason Schwartzman. Because they've obviously seen Asterix City. They did it for screenplay and supporting an actor. I guess maybe they thought even Schwartzman didn't have enough to do as a lead. So he was probably classed as a lead, but maybe a bit overshadowed. I don't know. Yeah. That's an... Taron Edgerton's a weird pick. Yeah. Mm. All right. Best picture. We got 10 of them. Ready? Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Air. Yeah, we know this. We Are know you this. there, Goddess Me, Margaret? Okay. Cool. Asterix City. Yes, nice, nice, nice. Good so far. Blackberry. Okay. Okay, that did make it in, right? Yeah. Oh, Creed 3's here. Creed 3. Okay, interesting. So that wasn't a on. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It was very well critically received. Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, that, okay. Right. Uh, people did like it, though. People yeah. did really like it for some reason. I don't know. I thought it was really bad. But it's really there bad. Were, there were a lot of people that did like it. Okay, yeah. sure. Um, Guardian 3, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah you know, sense. I didn't love it, but yeah, sure. Um, John Wick 4. Again, sense didn't love it, but makes sense. Um, past lives, of course, of course, yeah, yeah, good choice. And then Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, okay, good. So they went a lot more mainstream with this picture lineup, and they yeah, the after going lineup. like no, a thousand and one, no infinity pool, no, um, no. I think that's fine. No, Bo's afraid, Bo's afraid didn't end up making it. No, that's not too surprising, though, based on how yeah. it was critically received. Yeah, don't, don't hate this overall, don't hate this overall. No, I don't mind there's a lineup, there's a, there's a couple ones that are a bit ropey in that. Picture, yeah, but, yeah, you know, it's all right, it's all right. Yeah, I mean, hey, at least they didn't nominate the flag. No, at least they didn't do, at least they didn't do stuff like that. Yeah, 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 could have been worse, could have been worse. It could have um, been worse, could have been a lot worse. Um, let's predict, let's have fun. Let, let's, yeah, do, let's do some new predictions. All right, most anticipated film. I, bar, I'm gonna go Barbie. I think it could be Barbie. I, I'm, I'm going to go June part two, just so you know, Spice. That Barbie was my gut instinct. The same things. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll go June. I'll go June. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. All right, best stunts, just obviously John Wick Chapter 4. Yeah, right? I mean, if, like, John Wick Chapter 4 is potentially giving a stunt category to the actual Oscar itself, like, yes, it's going to be. It's going to win. It's obviously, like, yeah. Um, Best indie film. Oh, also, I just... Ryan Lane only got one nom in indie. That's a bit sad. I was hoping they would get more It's sad. He could have got a screenplay. I think, if anywhere, screenplay would yeah. be a place where it could have Or, like, in the in. picture 10. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just not got as much exposure for some of these other Yeah. Films. But anyways, this is obviously going to be past lives. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's only that and Blackberry that were in the picture 10. And it's yeah. probably not going to be Blackberry, is it? So. Yeah. Best horror. So Infinity Pool was the only one that got into another lineup. But I'm actually going to say Green Six. I'm going to say Evil Dead Rise. This had a real okay. momentum push when it came out. Like, people were really sort of... I actually am going to agree with you. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I feel like, I don't know, it just feels like the sort of thing they might what do and like think it's fun to honor yeah yeah no i agree actually i agree all right screenplay i'm gonna yeah what predict you past lives i'm gonna say past lives um i will i'm trying to think because i don't think past lives will win screenplay and director i'm gonna go i'm not gonna say past lives i'm gonna go spider-man i'm gonna go spider-man could it also be air it, i mean it could also be air let's not forget that i think air is obviously sort of always gonna be there but yeah i'll go to spider-man why not they, they might okay cool, cool um all right supporting actress i think it's gonna be viola yeah i do think air will get at least one win here and viola davis is probably the most likely place that's out honestly it might win supporting actor too ben affleck, affleck. yeah could win could win i'm going like, john mcgarro i'm going john mcgarro i think that'd be part i'm of gonna say ben affleck because like my worry with past lives is like if enough people have seen it like that is true that is true. But yeah. I mean, it's still to get seven arms, I guess. But. Actually, Ben Affleck did direct the film as well, which could lean people into his favor. Yeah, actually, no, I might agree with you there. I I mean, it's still John McGraw winning at, like, the Oscars. But, like... yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I think Ben Affleck could win here, actually. Yeah, I'll change my opinion. All right, best actress. Uh, Here, I'm going to go Greta Lee, though. I'm going to, yeah, I think Greta Lee. I think if anything, good. Past Lives will hopefully win this category. It's not the strongest category, either. No. Like, there's no real massive contenders. So. Best actor? I'm not Mark. saying Matt Damon. It could be. Matt I'm Damon. not saying Matt Damon. I think I'm saying Matt Damon. I think I'm saying. I'm gonna. Okay, this is weird. I'm gonna actually know what. Yeah. Michael B. Go. Jordan. Okay. Interesting. No, I tell you what. I'm gonna go Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, and Viola Davis in the hopes that two out of three of them win. 
because I think two out of the three of them will win. But I don't know that's necessarily fair. which do. So that's, that's my tactic. But Mike B. Jordan, interesting. Yeah, yeah I guess I, he did direct it as well. Like so. I, I know I get to see that even though that's like it, I mean it got in the picture and like. I don't see UTO as a winning performance. I could honestly the no. Oscars campaign have been supporting weirdly enough. So like, yeah, yeah. Uh, but like, yeah, I don't know. Like the film's in picture. He's doing a lot in it. Michael B. Jordan's very well liked. I don't know. It just makes sense. Yeah. I, I mean, it would just... probably be the number two actually looking at it because it's not going to be Tyron Edgerton. Whacking Phoenix, no, probably not. And you say, as you say, yeah, potentially so, a bit overshadowed. So yeah, it would potentially be the number two. But yeah, I'm sticking yeah. with that. Then. That's right. That's right. All right. Director. So my pick here is Chad Stelsky. Here, I'm going to do Celine Song for Pass Okay. Yeah. yeah. Which I have her. I agree. I don't think that she's going to sweep him in both, but I have her, yeah, winning screenplay. But then I think Chad Stelsky takes. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. There is a lot of love for Chad, so... And then for picture. And then here's the question, which I do think it will be past size Zero. I do think it will be one of them. Or Spider-Man. Yeah, I don't, know if that, I don't know if that wins. I think it can. Are you going that? No, I'm going past lives. Yeah, I'm going past lives as well. I have faith in them to not go for air winning <laughs> picture, you know? I have faith in them. I hope. I hope. I think past lives make sense. Like, there's clearly yeah, love. No, no, I got so many like, nominations, like, so. Like, yeah you 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 do you do um but yes those are our predictions to the uh the hca mid-season awards and our reactions to them um so they uh the winners will drop on friday so just in a couple days not too long of a wait so we'll be reacting to the winners as well give our thoughts um but what did you think of the hca mid-season award nominations you can comment below again they're they aren't that important in the grand scheme of oscar predicting but like you know we like movies and Awards for movies yeah, are fun because yeah. they're fun to talk about. So it's it's fun. It's fine. It's whatever. It's it's um. So yeah, that is all. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. We'll have Emmy nominations reactions in uh, two weeks, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and uh, a big prediction live stream coming up in the next couple of days. So make sure you stick around for that. But until next time, stay safe. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and goodbye.